Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Hellboy, the Crooked Man, and this is the latest reboot of Hellboy, because this is now, we got the Ron Perlman, Guillermo del Toro version, we got the David Harbour, Neil Marshall version, and now we have the Jack Kesey and Brian Taylor version. And if you notice, those budgets kept going down, and this one for sure is... A stripped down, very lo fi kind of version of Hellboy. And this one takes place in the 1950s with Hellboy and a rookie BPRD agent who have are stuck in Appalachia and they have to wind up stopping this evil entity, the Crooked Man. And this film really leans into horror for sure. And Brian Taylor is taking that specific kind of approach who previously did Crank and Jonah Hex and Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. So very interesting in terms of filmography here. Not the greatest track record in terms of comic book adaptations. And to be frank, I think this might be the best comic book adaptation out of the Jonah Hex, the Ghost Rider, and this. And this film has some things going for it. I liked Jack Kesey as Hellboy. I think the makeup worked. I think his tone and his approach to it really worked. I thought he was very convincing. He's a lot subtler. He's not as big personality as, like, a David Harbour or a Ron Perlman. But I think it works in this story, which is much more gritty and intense and creepy. It has the horror atmosphere, and it has some really unnerving moments. It also has some, like, action movie trope moments where it's like, now we gotta fight, like, a gang of uh, gaggle witches um, coming in here and starting up a fight, or, like, these zombie-type entities. But... I do like the dynamic between Hellboy and Bobby, played by Adeline Rudolph, who's the new agent here. Jefferson White's Tom feels like a need a needless like character tacked on to make a connection to the local story going on. And there are some good supporting characters like Joseph Mar uh Marchell plays a reverend that winds up being looped into this whole thing, and it's Jeffrey from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And then the Crooked Man is really creepy, to be honest. It takes a little while for that to, like, come into the story, and story even goes on a little bit more without that character involved. But I think it's a creepy enough entity to put you on edge. The tricky thing about this film is... So much of the plotting and narrative, it's just all over the place, and there's it's thrown so much at the wall that sometimes you just have no idea what the hell's going on, and you're just like, well, it's creepy, and Hellboy's here, the Crooked Man's creepy, so that's going for it, but I have no idea what the hell's going on, <laughs> and some of it feels like overly overdone, like mythology and stuff like that. It tries to be a little too complex in terms of this whole mythos around the Crooked Man and this rural place. And some of the characters are a little too over the top with their, their accents and it's hard to take them seriously. But, and also it's such a strange dichotomy seeing like Hellboy just walking around 1950s Appalachia and interacting with all these, like, backwoods people, and you're just like, this is, this is an odd kind of situation. But it commits to the bit. Hellboy's solid. I really like the music, actually. That's something that, like, stuck out to me from Sven Falconer, and it's simple. It's not, like, throughout the whole entire film. You'll occasionally, like, hear a couple notes here and there, but it's intense and it's heavy, and you're just like, this gives it a vibe, and I really like the vibe that the music's laying down, and I think it really works for Hellboy. And at the end of the day, this film has some promise, 
it also is a bit of a mess, and when it all equals out, it's passable, and it's not, like, it's not as creative as the Neil Marshall one in terms of some of its creatures and stuff like that, but on some level, I thought it was a little bit better, and, like, not none of these are gonna touch Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy, and it's not really fair to make that comparison, but I think this is a passable revitalization, uh, revitalized version of this franchise, and I'm okay with it. But those are my thoughts on Hellboy, the Crooked Man. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.